What is going on, guys? So if you've been watching the channel for a while now, you know we cover pro player class setups all the time, every single year, at least a few times, whether it was in Modern Warfare 2019, we did it in Cold War quite a few times, and even in Vanguard, and I barely played the game. Well, today we're doing our very last one, probably ever, because the pro player scump, I mean, one of the, if not the GOAT of Call of Duty, has finally retired just of a few weeks ago. And I thought it'd be appropriate to cover his final pro player class setup. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with the league or scump or whatever it may be, but man, he is an inspiration to me. It's someone I've always looked up to. I've always wanted to play just like him. That'll never happen, by the way. But um, I'm just a huge fan of the league. And man, dude, every time I did one of these pro player setups, it was always on his class setup. So in today's video, we are going to be using his final pro player class setup. So basically, I just went to his final match and got his exact class setup. I just want to fry out, man, and, and just see what we can do. First, let me give you guys the class setup. So starting off, we have the FSS Sharkfin 90 Underbarrel. They throw this on because you get aiming idle stability. Basically, it just makes your weapon more accurate, and there's no downsides to using it. That's the reason why I personally love to use this on some of my own class setups, because who doesn't like your weapon being more accurate? And then there's nothing to worry about on the con side of things. It's just great. Uh, for my second attachment, or his second attachment we have the bruin pendulum muzzle where you get vertical and horizontal recoil control once again this weapon the vazam 9k already doesn't have any recoil but when you have this and the underbarrel i mean literally you are shooting at laser beams next we have the otrazat stock where you get aim walking speed which allows you to strafe quicker making it a lot harder for the enemies land shots on you and we get sprint speed so we can get from point a to point b a lot more quickly and you just overall feel a lot lighter on your feet for our fourth attachment we have the true tech grip where you get sprint to fire speed so that means your weapon comes up quicker after sprinting and we get ADS speed so we can be a little bit more quick and snappy and then for the final attachment i threw on the 45 round mag now they do not use the 45 round mag i personally threw this on because i'm gonna be playing shipment and i know some of you may want to try out the pro player setup i mean literally the best of the best call of duty players use this build and it's gonna be kind of hard to use on shipment so throwing the 45 round mag i mean it's okay if you lose out on some of this movement speed you're gonna need that 45 round magazine now for the tuning there is no tuning all of the pro players have agreed to ban tuning in the competitive league because i got for whatever reason who knows so this is that's the setup man there you have it now that that's out of the way here is a sneak peek at what i was able to do in today's gameplays a 15.38 kd and the two gameplays that you're gonna be watching today that, that, that's all I need to say. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe and turn all those notifications on so you get notified the next time I upload. Season two is just a few weeks away and I will be covering everything it has to offer right here. I don't want you guys to miss out. And then do me a solid by clicking that thumbs up button. Literally take seconds of your guys' time and it really does help push the video out, give us more exposure without further ado. Scump's final pro player class setup in Modern Warfare 2. All right, man, if y'all been watching the channel for a while, you know I am a big fan of Scump. We've done multiple pro player class setups, and most of them have been... Wait, I think I have Warzone settings on, don't I? I definitely do. There, have to reload. All right, gotta change that. I've done multiple pro player class setups, but most of them have been about uh, Scump. He's the most popular and one of the, if not the... Oh, I almost gunned all of them. One of the most popular... Probably the, the actually no, I take the back. He is the most popular, and then he is one of the best Call of Duty players out there. And he's finally re quad feed. He has finally considered and fully has retired. It's sad, man. It really is because watching him has gotten me so much better at Call of Duty. Uh, people are always like, "Frizz, how are you so good at the game?" This and that. Well, first off, I've been playing for ten years, and two. I watch people who are better than me so I can learn what they're doing that I'm not doing. And it really, really does help me out so much. Just watching people who are better than me so I can see and learn uh, from what they're doing. And when I see they're doing something that I'm not, I'm like, you know what? I probably should start doing that. And that's where I really start to learn just, just new things and whatnot. And it's just sad, man. I mean, I've done these pro player setups for, I mean, years and years on end, and now it's just like, I could do them still, but just not on him anymore, which really sucks. So, 
This is the final setup he used in his last match as a professional Call of Duty player, and I thought it'd be really appropriate for me to use it in today's video. The only thing I actually added was a 45 round magazine, that is it. Because, I mean, I'm playing shipment, so I know some of you guys are gonna wanna try this out for yourselves. And I don't recommend trying this with a 30 round mag. It's gonna be a little bit rougher to use, so. I threw on a little bit of a larger mag, which is completely okay. I think the only downside of throwing out a bigger mag is it slows down your weapon a little bit. But I'm willing to... I'm willing to take that hit. There's, like, there's five people in here. I'm willing to take that hit if it makes this weapon a little easier and better to use. Here we go. We are frying right now. That's what I like to see. Uh, I don't know how close we are to a nuke. I hope you guys are, are loving my the way my weapon looks today. We got the optic camo with the optic decal. And I got the little demon weapon charm because, you know, Scump's a demon. So I, I made it all fit r real nicely together. Throw that over there. All right, why don't really get a nuke here? You know, this wouldn't be a good game here if I don't get a nuke, you know? We're really, really close to it. I just need an overall pop off because that's all Skunk did throughout his career. Let me know in the comments, do you guys actually watch the CDL and keep up with it? MGB, there it is. Woo! <coughs> I'm choking my own spit. There, dude, we're just triple capping. This is so annoying when, when this happens. You gotta be kidding me, man. Come on, can they get a flag or something? Make this a little more entertaining for me, please. Imagine I beat my winch, my kill streak with this thing yeah let me if you guys watch the cdl or keep up with it the guy's actually there because i try to do it as much as i possibly can that's where i get these pro player setups from is just from watching the league and pro players usually share it their setups once in a while and that's how i get them and then you also learn quite a bit about attachments which ones are the best ones for whatever so that's why the re that's the reason why i always run that ftac castle comp because that's what they're using at the beginning of the the year all those pro players so even to this day even after playing call of duty for as long as i have been you still do learn so much dude this this is so annoying we need to get like we need to get them a flag or something i know i'm part of the problem i'm still on an unstoppable streak this game's ending way too quick On. Enemy is taking nice. Uh, dude, we are still going. We're on the same streak. Damn! That he he just spawned in. Yeah. Are they just gonna keep spawning in front of me? Because if that's the case, I mean, I don't know if I want to move anymore. We're frying right now too. Holy! This is working out a lot better than I than I thought it was going to. Like, I didn't think, I thought we were gonna have like a high kill game, but we just got a high KD match. Uh, oh my God, I am not missing a shot right now. Uh, uh. Oh my God, 66 and one. I may be able to beat my kill streak record here. I don't know. Dude, this is so over. Like, there's nothing we could do. This game's already like wraps. I might be able to break my kill streak record. Seriously, no way. Come on, I just gotta stay alive. I think. Uh, was this an enemy that I passed? I don't know. Dude, this is ridiculous. We're still going. Holy cow. Nice. Throw some ammo on real quick. I'm just gonna sit back because this might be my highest kill streak here. I just don't want to move. Okay. Nice, and we got UAV out too. Okay, we're still going. I I'm just watching this corner. See how they're spawning here? That's why I'm not moving. Holy cow. Okay. I gotta be close. I know I'm close. No, that's the game. I didn't get to call my nuke in. Oh, my highest kill streak's like, what? 75 and two.
what was that gun streak? Can someone please tell me? All right. Uh, dude, that first game was all good and all, but I actually went to go check my gun streak. It was 67. So that was a, that was like getting two nukes in one life. That, that's the equivalent. Where are these guys at? I ran around the whole, there's, there's, wait, there's only two people spawned in. What's up with these slow games? Come on. Goodness gracious. Yeah, let me know in the comments how many of you guys actually have watched competitive in the past or maybe still do. If you keep up with it, what's your favorite team? Honestly, I think that's another really good way of uh, getting really good at the game. Again, obviously all those pro players are infinitely better than I'll ever be in my life. So again, those are people I, I learn off quite a bit. That's where I get some of my setups from. And it's just nice to run around with these, some of these weapons. And you also learn why these weapons are the best weapons. Oh my god dude they were just all spawning there obviously the vaznet is in their eyes probably the best smg because there's zero recoil on it like oh great this thing does not move whatsoever when it comes to recoil and to keep in mind i didn't tune anything like literally it's like this just because it is nice and it's really really fast like the mobility is pretty cracked out and it also has just no recoil on it. What did I die to? Was that a sniper? Oh, great. We're playing that. Hit marker later, dude. Let me pop off for the one time though. Cause again, this will be the last time we get to use Scum's pro player setup. Nice, I got three of them. Okay. Nice. Can I push this? Oh my goodness, there it is. Oh my god, we're still going. Okay. Call this. I'm just gonna try to pop off as much as I possibly can here. Alright, we gotta do a V up home. I don't know how many of you guys heard about the brand new season two update coming, but dude, it is going to be the update for Modern Warfare 2. We're getting everything you could possibly imagine, new weapons, new guns. Getting ranked play. Apparently, there's going to be like some type of movement change in multiplayer. I, I don't know anything. It wasn't fully confirmed. I just saw Jeff's video of him talking about there being a some type of. Oh my god, we are on a relentless right now. Some type of change in movement, which is going to be huge. So there's going to be some type of outplayability in this game eventually, or. Hopefully, with the, whatever the movement change may be. Uh, I, that's my only problem with this game is the lack of movement. Because I don't know how to outplay people. Because you can't, like, bunny hop or, like, move quick out of the way. Like, there's nothing you can really do to... No! There's my nuke. I just choked. No. I should have sat back a little bit. I wanted to get it before the advance went away. But there's nothing I could do there. Shoot. We're also getting five new DLC weapons. Five DLC weapons. Damn, another double kill with that? Nice. Holy. Those guys are just getting... No! Teammate, I'm reloading. You gonna help me out there? Okay, now they're all there for sure. Nice. Let me get back here. Yeah, those guys are really on the... Those guys had a trophy system done and everything. Goodness. All right, got a UAV up. Hopefully there's some more cool bundles because, dude, I, I don't know about y'all, but back in Cold War, I used to buy bundles all the time. And then Vanguard, they were cool. Some of them were mid, you know, whatever. They were all right. And then in this game so far, we haven't got anything like really worth even using. Like the coolest thing we got was that Damascus bundle. But even then, that's like mid at best. Nice. I'm out of Merciless. All this in. Boom. Bottom. I, need, all right, I got my advanced. Throw this down real quick. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. Hopefully, we can get this nuke now. I'm going to call in the... Come on, bro. No one's pushing. Nice. Oh, they got, they got it all back there, don't they? Holy. Nice little quad feed. Okay. Are they still spawning that corner? They are. Oh my. 
Dude, this thing really doesn't have any. Oh my god, I'm running up. Dude, they're all over the place. This thing really is. Oh, brutal. Okay, I'm out of brutal. I'm so glad I caught that. Because if I didn't, I probably would be dead. All right, now I could really play for my nuke. So that over there. Hopefully, I don't. Nice. Good job, teammate. Nice quad. Okay, I didn't need like a kill for a nuke. Thank you. Come on. Yes, there's my MGB. Man, this is so sad that like... Man, I have so many pro player classes on my channel and literally almost all of them are dedicated to scum. Literally almost all of them are. And we've made a lot of these over the... Tell me, what the heck is going on? We've made so many of these vids over the the time I've been on YouTube. It's just like, damn, this is just so sad that there, there won't be another pro player scum setup. This is just like last game. No shot. All right, now I'm really... See, now that the... Now that the nerves are kind of calm now after getting the nuke, I'm, I'm on it. I need to beat my gun streak. Never mind that. I should never said that. What are we at? 101 kills, and we have a lot of time left too. Cool. I'm playing. I'm gonna play hard. I want to get this. I want to get a a lot more kills. I gotta have a really good game for Scumperson. Nice. I'm in a good spot too. UAV up. Oh, those guys are all over there. A lot of people have ghosts on in this game too. Nice. Vital. Let's call in our VTOL. Boom. Give me like 150, bro. Come on. This Vaznav build is ridiculous. I remember we covered a, a similar pro player setup before. Or I think we did actually a scump setup before. But obviously things have changed. Some of the attachments are a little different. Especially the muzzle. Then again, you can't really tell the difference between any of these attachments. Well, I got an advanced. Hey, we might be able to get a double. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show out. I'm gonna show out with this thing for sure. But yeah, the muzzle definitely changed, and I also threw on the 45 rounder for those of you who want to try this out for yourselves. If you really want to use a dedicated pro setup, all you gotta do is just take out the mag, and you're chilling. Cool. Nice. nice. Oh my god, we're on it right now. This is good. We might be able to actually get our our second nuke here that back there huh? we're looking good still we're still alive I, I I really think I can get another new huh? and they're all back here too oh my god they're all there all of them okay my advance is still up damn Unstoppable! Oh, I already got another new. Nice. Is there any way I can continue my gun streak? No, he's behind me. I got two. Can I get another one? I'm gonna be greedy. I'm gonna be greedy because last time we get to come cover pro player, this comes pro setup. And come on. Oh, we're looking good. Oh, tell me, hit your shots at least. Uh. No, 150. That's exactly what I just asked for, and I did it. Oh, my nuking. GG, man. Scums pro setup. Man, that's just insane. You can literally go on my channel. I have so many of these pro setups for for the man. And man, it's just like, I can't do those anymore. Wow. And we ended off on an absolute banger. There you have it. 155 kills and two nukes in one game. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. I'll see you guys in the next upload. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day and I'm out. Peace.